Do you want to know what's been speed clearing and boss killing in Ultimatum? Well, today we're going to take a little bit of a look at the meta in 3.14. Let's jump right into it. Ah, welcome. It's your friendly neighborhood badger here, and I said I would jump right into it. There's a little bit of a joke for you. That's probably a bad intro. It's probably it's probably staying in anyway. How is everyone going? Uh, today we're going to be talking about the meta of the softcore trade in 3.14. Now I know that a lot of you probably know a lot about this, uh, but we're just going to talk over why I think it actually happened. We're going to mainly talk about three archetypes. Now, right before we start, I do want to say, if you're enjoying this new type of content with the standing up and the more lively badger, then hey, let me know by hitting that sub button down below. Uh, it really, really does mean the world to me and uh, trying to grow this channel as much as I can to get me back up out of that YouTube hole. So yeah, every button press that you can make means the world to me. We're going to mainly talk about today the three main archetypes I think have really been dominating the softcore trade meta. Now this is mostly based on poe.ninja, which is a website that you can go to uh, to check lots of things all the way through from prices of items all the way to builds and the trees that people are using and everything like that. So if you want to follow along and have a look on uh, PoE Ninja, I'll put the link down below, but it's a really, really great resource if you're not using it yourself. Number one, the first build I would really like to talk about, oh, well, look, this one's not actually a build, but it is more of a meta play style, which is cast on crit using Cyclone. Now there's a lot of builds out there that have been using this for a very long time, using Cyclone with Cosprey's Malice and Ice Nova or Ice Spear and Frost Bolt and those sorts of things. It's an extremely strong build and it's tried and true, but this League Ultimatum, it's just seen more dominance. Uh, it's, it's really, really topping the charts. Uh, I think Cyclone has around, around about a 16% play, but that's not just Cast on Crit Cyclone, that's Cyclone on a whole. But then, you know, Cast on Crit can be played on Inquisitor, Assassin, even Elementalist, Pathfinder. There's so many different classes that can play this Cyclone build. But, you know, basically, you're just going in there, you're spinning to winning, and, and uh, there's not really much else to say. Cyclone, mostly with cold skills, Cast on Crit is the first one that has really been dominating the meta. Number two. Now, this one came quite out of left field, I felt, at the start of the league, but then continued to dominate through the entirety of the league to the place where it is still now and people are still playing this build just because it's so fun and it clears so fast. You may know what I'm talking about. Uh, it did quite a few price hikes to many items on the Path of Exile market this league that were never usually that expensive. Yes, I am talking about Burning Arrow Elementalist. Now, Burning Arrow Elementalist was popularized by quite a few different content creators and other people talking around about it in the community at the start of the league and around the uh, start to middle of the league as well, which caused a massive price hike in things like Fire Dot Multi Cluster Jewels, uh, Minion Cluster Jewels, uh, and then just Fire Dot Multi Gear around the board and everything like that as well. Um, it, for good reason, it is a really strong build. Just imagine igniting everything on the screen from screens away, especially with the update to burning, uh, so Vile Burning Arrow. It just became uh, both a really, really good boss killer, then up to tens of millions of DPS against bosses themselves. Uh, so look, honestly, it's it's super, super strong. I know why it uh, you know shook the meta up so much, but it is still a little bit of an anomaly of how popular it actually got. Um, which is really, really interesting. It's one thing to keep in mind going into next leagues. Content creators put out builds, and uh, they, those build guides are kind of the ones that are getting the most views. Actually be wary of starting those if you don't know how to rush uh, the content super quickly and earn that currency before everyone else starts buying it. I know uh, this league, there were a lot of problems with people who wanted to play Burning Hour at the start of the league. They got to the point where they were gonna switch over and found out that already everything on the market was so expensive and they just had to re-roll. So it's actually a little bit of a uh, little bit of a cautionary tale on that one, but Burning Arrow, super, super, super strong build. <laughs> Lastly, now, this one as well has been, look, let's say it's a build that's been dominating for a long time. It's had some dips, it's had some ups, uh, but it's just a build that 
Uh, I think dominates for the reason of the playstyle alone. Yep, I am talking about Spectre Summoners. Now, Spectres are really, really strong because it's pretty much just finding the best Spectre that you can, putting on all the minion gear, and then just running through a map. Uh, it's not very uh, engaging in terms of the gameplay. Not, not in a bad way. I'm not trying to say that in a bad way. It's not heaps of button presses and everything like that, especially if you've got uh, trigger... Uh, Wandcraft and everything like that for your offering uh, and you just you just kind of let these specters just wipe everything there's probably some gameplay going on right now that you can see but uh, for good reason specters have been strong for a really long time and that's basically uh, not changed in 3.14 I think there's still around about 7% uh, of all people on the PoE Ninja on the softcore trade who are playing this specter build I don't know if there's really much more to say on specters because specters are so universal now but uh it's a build that you can pretty much play from the get-go you can start off with you know summon raging spirits you can switch into specters so it's probably going to be a good idea next league as well they've tried to just absolutely dumpster specters in the past and then uh we've turned around and been like hey you know what specters are still pretty fine now in a hardcore environment specters are dying a lot more than they used to uh, but in a softcore environment it's still really really good you can have things like specter banks to be able to get your specters back and everything like that and if your specters die in a map, they'll be stored in that pool uh, of monsters on that map and you can just desecrate and find the monster again and summon it again before you go and find Minotaur, for example, or something like that. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say on the three uh, kind of main meta builds of 3.14. If you think I've got anything wrong, if you think I've missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. I know there are a lot of other builds that were popular. I just wanted to highlight what I thought were the three most popular builds, most meta builds or play styles or archetypes in 3.14 Ultimatum. Thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time, Badger out.